Has this ever happened to you? Aw oh, man, I spilled water on my countertop. Then look no further than the Dirty Carrot. The state-of-the-art design will be sure to give you and your loved ones a smooth carrot experience. Perfect for professionals and newcomers. You can even take your Dirty Carrot anywhere. I can take my Dirty Carrot anywhere. That's what I said. Order now and you will receive a second Dirty Carrot for no additional price. Call 248 434-5508 to place your order today. Once again, that's 248-434-5508 to get your Dirty Carrot today. Dirty Carrot Enterprises are not responsible for any lives lost due to the carrot. Common side effects include nausea, headaches, pain, cancer, and death. If man shows up to your door with a gun, that is not our fault. We don't know how he got there. Subscribe to Dimes. Call today. Man. I love infomercials. Something about them just makes me smile, whether it be for some weird ramen cookbook or for Flex Seal, I can't get enough. The chaotic energy of the host always gets me tuned in. Hell, even for some of the cooking ones, the recipes themselves are fun to watch. And infomercials are a huge gateway into one of retail's biggest item categories, on scene on TV. If you see that big red logo on a box, you already know that you're in for a treat. You know, as a kid watching TV, you always got excited when an infomercial for some new toy would pop up. It seems like you can always find a seen on TV products at your local dollar store or pharmacy, usually kept by the toys. The prices are cheap, they range from like 5 to 50 dollars. And a little bit ago, as seen on TV products randomly popped back up in my mind. They were great, whatever happened to them? I mean, of course they're still around, but I rarely ever see commercials for them anymore. Oh wait, that's right, I'm a cord cutter. Anyways, enough yapping, I bought three different As Seen On TV products, and I'm gonna rank them on my 37 point scale. Let's just get right into it with uh... Well, here's a way that's much easier. Introducing Ice Genie. All right, so we got the Easy Ice Maker. Uh, it's easy to use. You just gotta fill and chill. Uh, great, great product. All right, now we just gotta, you know. All right, here we go. The, it's hard to do with one hand. The big reveal. Oh, here it is. Comes with a little booklet on the inside. Uh, this, which I assume is the top. Looking in here. Gotta just get this, you know. Yay. Here's the thing. For an easy ice maker, this is kind of a pain in the ass. How, why do you need this many steps? Like, this thing essentially does, you know, the same exact thing. You just fill it up and throw it in. All right, so we basically just gotta, you know, fill it up with water, like halfway through. Gotta snap the lid on. I don't know if I just got a fluke one, but uh, the lid will not fit on. This is a problem. Nothing like some good old cling wrap. Whoa, did you see that transition? It's so good! Check back in like a couple hours. I did this completely wrong. Okay, so I messed up. I put the water in the middle. It's supposed to go on the outside. Two hours later. We got an ice. All right, let, let's see if the uh, Easy ice maker worked. Let's uh, oh, okay, how am I gonna do this? I don't really know how to release this thing. There's like no instructions, so uh, I guess I'll run under hot water. Woohoo, all right, we got that. And uh, now we just, yeah. So there's nothing left to do but then to taste test the ice. You know, it's ice. It's what it's meant to do. It's, uh... 
It's actually pretty darn good ice. I rate this product 73 out of 37. Snackies! Voted product of the year, it's Snackies. You guys remember this? So if you grew up in the era that I did, like, early 2010s-ish, you were in love with these things. Dude, the commercials on Nickelodeon were like crazy, dog. Everyone loved them, bro. I remember like, I remember the commercials used to always have like kids using them and stuff. Like they were, I wanted one so bad, but my parents never got me one. That's why when I went to uh, Rite Aid the other day, uh, this was a must buy. So it's pretty straightforward. Put the drink in there, put the snacks up there for the drink. I have uh, Trader Joe's strawberry lemonade for the snack. Popcorners. So let's uh, show them on a da -da -da. Whoa, did you see that transition? Hey, it even comes with a little booklet. Uh, do not microwave any part. Snackies is not intended foe. Uh, cup and snack bowl are top and wash all parts thoroughly. Gotta wash it. All right, now it's properly washed. It's time to uh, load it up with uh, different drinks and snacks, or for me, strawberry lemonade and popcorners. So it's simple, you take the top off, unscrew your drink. Perfect. You gotta screw, you gotta screw this thing back on, pop the top, and just shove those popcorners right in there. There, there you go, there's the snackies. Let's, let's test it. Well, the straw works. That also works. I mean, yeah. It works. Low-key though, I do see the convenience factor, cause you know, uh, yeah. So uh, overall, this gets a, uh, say 23 out of 37. The only problem is the screen is way too small. Now there's a solution. Magnify your vision with MagnaVision. Woohoo. So this is the MagnaVision smartphone screen magnifier. Got it at my local Dollar General, 10 bucks. As seen on TV, you know, you already know the gist. Get it open. Oh, oh, there we go. All right, one box later, we're left with uh, more plastic. There we go. Here, here we are, the uh, the screen. Oh, okay, okay. So we've got to flip up this, okay, all right. Now for this, uh, I don't have another phone, so I'm gonna be using my iPod Touch from like 2012. See, it has uh, a lot of old apps, you got all the, oh, not wrong folder, I got, oh, another wrong folder. I got all the old Angry Birds games still downloaded on here. Great little thing, great little thing. So I guess uh, we'll get an episode of Fred the Show to uh, play on this, and we'll test it out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it works. See, in person, it's a little different. In person, it's uh, it's definitely bigger to my face. But the thing is, uh, kind of feels like it's cracked. Like you see the lights on this on uh, the screen. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing in real life too. It doesn't really work. Also, it like barely. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I mean, it works. Kinda.